All right, so um, I want to show you how to use this website. Now, the website's name is um, is here is webdemovisionobject.com, and you have to write the rest over here. And um, what I want to to do is I am going to show you how this website can do some very really really neat things. So let me actually um, begin by let's say computing a famous linear that all of the people that have taken calculus have probably probably done it. So I'm going to take the limit. Okay, I'm going to take the limit. Um, as x approaches zero of sine x over x. Now that's a famous uh, problem and it can be solved using L'Hopital's rule and we know that the answer is going to be equal to one. Well, now let me take you down here. As I was writing this up here, it was appearing down here and over here it appears in LaTeX form. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here, Compute with Wolfram Alpha. And this is going to take me to Wolfram Alpha immediately. And here it appears written in Wolfram Alpha. And, uh, and um, the limit, as I said, was equal to 1. And here is the graph. Okay. And uh, so now let me go back and do another problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little trash can over here. And I'm going to write, a, let's say, a, an indefinite integral. Let's, let me write the integral sine x little dot up there, dx. And over here, as you notice, right away it appears. Here is in uh, LaTeX form. Now I can click on Compute with Wolfram Alpha. And of course, you know what that's going to be. Okay, so here is uh, here it's written in Wolfram Alpha, typed in. This, of course, is as you would expect, negative cosine x plus a constant. And um, and if I want to, let's say, you know, you can do all kinds of things here. Now I can do a definite integral. I'm going to put, let's say, the number one here and two here, right? So now I have a definite integral. Notice that it appeared over here. And if I click Compute with Wolfram Alpha, I am sent to Wolfram Alpha. And here is, of course, the result. And here is the graph of the area that I computed over here. Uh, this is quite actually quite interesting, and it's a new, uh, it's a new, um, it's a new idea that is actually very useful and. Um, for students that are trying to learn um, calculus and want to to check things, and uh, and I hope that they actually develop this further. Um, thank you for listening.